just yet. As the ball is played across, this could be the opening goal. Ball is uh, smashed in by Luis Suarez. Match day 25 ended up being a perfect weekend for football club Barcelona, who inched closer to defending their title. In Las Palmas, Luis Enrique's side grabbed their eighth consecutive win in the league and took advantage of other slip-ups to extend their lead at the top. Didn't bring it under control so well, but in the end, he got the cross. Atletico were unable to overcome an in-form Villarreal. And Real Madrid couldn't get past Javi Glapia's Malaga in a game marked by Kameni's penalty save. Much does Ronaldo! Kameni saves it, the rebound is put across. The Basque derby continues to be dominated by Real Sociedad. This time, a thunderbolt from Jonathan, who has now scored four goals in the last three games, settled the affair. Another striker who corroborated his great form was John Widetti, who commanded Celta to victory over Abar with a brace. Guidetti, Guidetti. Sevilla prolonged their poor run on the road at Vallecas and are still yet to win away from the Pizjuan. Emery's side were 2-0 up after 20 minutes, but Rayo staged a remarkable comeback, led by Miku once again, and salvaged a draw in one of the best games of the weekend. A team that did manage to win on the road was Valencia, who grabbed all three points in Granada, thanks to goals from Parejo and Santimina. shot for Santimina, and that is it, Valencia 2. The big name at the bottom of the table was Jose Luis Morales, who was instrumental once again in a key win for Levante against Getafe in the relegation scrap. Marco Asensio also scored a vital goal, his first in the Liga BBVA, handing Espanyol the win against Deportivo and putting an end to a dire run of results. At the Benito Villa Marín, Sporting and Real Betis shared the spoils. Goals from Carlos Castro and Petzela keep the Asturians and Andalusians above the drop zone for the time being. Finds its way in, and we have an equaliser just like that.